the danger for me is that uh, I just like I actually just stay. I think that my danger is actually that I that I stay in my current lane, Luke. Now you might think that this is a weird thing to be saying, given that you advocate staying in your lane, but my current lane is that like I I've quit competitive sports. Basically, I'm getting old. No point carrying on anymore. Um, I'm not going to make any money doing it. I'm getting out whilst I've still got my knees, basically, which is a good idea. And I've gone full time at work, but my current day job is a dead end job. It's it's not going to go anywhere. But it's kind of a an easy job. I can coast at it. There's not really a problem if like even even if I turn up late. I'm like really good with the the management there. It's it's like the perfect job that I could just last in for the next. 25 years being a, a very low income earner and achieving nothing in life so this is like a quandary that i'm faced with what what do i do uh, and you'll know yourself that adhd is is something that will almost certainly unless i really really find a way to kick myself out of the up the backside is something that will cause me to do nothing about my current situation and just coast. Yeah, you, you won't do anything about your current situation until the pain of your current situation outweighs the pain of doing something different. So when you get mm. sufficient pain- But what if there's no pain? Yeah, what if there's no pain? What if there isn't any? Uh, so, <sighs> right, then you're not gonna change until yeah, you get in touch with of, the pain. It's, it's a life of mediocrity, isn't it? No. Yeah, it's a, it's a deformed life. It's life kind of in a, in a cave. It's a very small life where you've minimized your vulnerabilities. Yeah. So uh, really, I need to get lucky. I need to either win a lottery ticket or I need to, uh, I don't know, buy a stock that can go to 100,000 times X or... Well, there's like no this. external <laughs> solution for an internal problem. What you're grappling with is an internal problem. It may well primarily be a biological and physiological problem for which there is no other primary answer other than a biological and physiological answer. If what you're primarily grappling with is a psychological problem, there's in all likelihood most likely a psychological answer. If you're primarily grappling with a moral problem, then there's a moral answer. If you're grappling with a religious problem, there's likely a religious